M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Uniden BCT15X Scanner. Now it does come with a serial cable and mine didn't work at first because the driver was, was incorrect. Now I have added an extension to the cable which uh, changes the serial port to USB and I've plugged it into my PC and the first thing I got, if I go right click device manager here, I got an error basically saying sorry but that driver doesn't work. Now you can see now that I have solved the problem and so I'm going to show you how it's on COM9. I've still ordered the, there's a cable out there that you can get for about £20 which I'll put a link in the description where you don't need the converter cable and I just happen to have this serial to USB cable with an old 2303 driver uh, HXA and it, I couldn't get it to work and guess what I found this page and how lucky I was because if you click and I will definitely be putting the, the link in the description a big thanks to John Stevens there uh, for this link if you click this link and run it I'll try and run it again uh, it, it basically runs a program and I did have to connect it to the radio to do this so let's just see if I'll run it again yes run program now remember everything's connected scan for drivers and it did find it's found it there look prolific usb serial com 9 before it didn't say that before it said something like uh, driver out of date windows you know discontinued it had that as the title i just selected it here legacy and i went next 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 i'm not going to do it again i don't want to ruin what i've fixed and and, and look what's running now we've got the pro scan here which is this is um uh, is a paid for one you get 30 days free on this and uh, then you pay but there are i'm going to test the cable and the link and the driver with with other you know with other i'm just going to show you that again right click device manager ports and I'll, just out of interest i'll right click properties and just show you we've got port settings there at the moment it's on 19200 board rate which can be changed i notice in the in the Uniden, it's also you can select front and back. Now that's an interesting one because the back is a circular connector. So maybe I might actually have a, one of those all-in-one cables that I can plug in the back. I'll, I'll give that a go. Now if I, I'll try and find that in the menu. I found it by accident earlier. So let's move this out the window. Now I have not used this, this at all um, yet. So everything I'm doing is for the first time, but you can see I'm pushing menu on the actual radio. Not, I'm not using the software. And I'm going down the menu selections, just turning on the actual radio settings. I'm going to go right down, and I noticed serial port here. See the port? Let's do that. Push it again, and then look. You've got front, which I'm not going to change it, but it does say one one five two hundred. If we go back by pressing the menu button, rear port. And that's on 4800. So I'm not sure what the rear port's used for. If it can be used for programming, I, I don't know. It might be to do with GPS. But I thought I'd show that, that you can select the front and back. I will dig out one of my cables. Now I'm going back to this page. Now just quickly while we're here, let's uh, see what we can do with this software. So we've got the volume here. So let's see if that goes up. There you go. You can, and I'm clicking with the mouse, squelch. You just saw me do the menu, let's turn that down. Menu there, if we back out, we push the menu, you back out. It's actually really good. I'm going to load this up with so many frequencies. I don't know what HP means, but let's go back out completely. Okay, we're out of the menu, and at the moment, if we click search, all right, it's got some alert. As you can see, the alert has been turned on. <laughs> the alert's been turned on, GPS. No GPS input, so we're gonna work out how we do that. I've got some GPS antennas here, antennas here, menu. Manual input, if you click hold, when you're out of the menu, click hold. So you'll see the word hold. Oh, it still wants the GPS. Let's back out completely. We need to uh, push search. There you are. Search and then hold. 
That's it. Hold appears there. Now you can type in a frequency. So go one, four, five, dot, six hundred. Look, and then go. I think we push, push this, push the big silver button. So I'm doing, it's not letting me, there it is, it's gone in, and then it's saying, do you want to save it? I'm going to go yes, by clicking the silver button. Bit of a delay. But it is doing it, and then you can edit the name. We're not going to edit the name. And you can scroll down the list here. See that, and it's even turning the knob, and then we're back out. There you are, and we're on that. I definitely need to turn all that off, so let's just turn all these off. Right, hopefully that's turned it off. Squelt and turn the volume up, see if someone speaks. And look, you've got this frequency down here as well. We've got function, then we've got attenuation button here. Oh, so I've had this unit for about five minutes. Let's have a look what we got here. Select all rows, reverse selected. Find DB and select rows, database. Find and select replace rows, copy move, da 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 da. I wonder if I can bring in um, an old file that I've got. So let's go open. Now it will be a HPE file, wouldn't it? Let's see if I've got any, any here. We're going to do more videos on this, but I'm just having fun. HPE. Uh, da, 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 downloads. Uh, we've got TX files there. But you want a HPE file for um, for one of these, I'm guessing. Well, it's a HPE file with the newer unit then. I don't know with the older unit then. Because if I double click that, no, it's not going to do that. But all you do is uh, database. Look at all this history login. You see, you can bring in things in database, file closed, recorder, web server. Look at all this fan scope. And the cable I'm using did actually come in the box. If we go to RRUK, like so, radio reference. Now, you do have to pay for this login. Let's see if we can log in. If you're bored, just you know, fast forward, log in, and then we'll go to home. We'll just click uh, Bristol for now. B R I S T O L. Uh, Ten miles will do. Amateur. Let's do two meters. So we've got this now. I, I think it's a HP file. So I'm going to go scanner export, and we're going to choose. I can't see any other makes that are similar. It could be a CSV file, maybe the 125 CSV file might work. So I'm going to export that and I'm going to export the HP file. And let's see if I can get it in there. So let's go back to where was it? Where were we? Uh, open. Downloads. No. So it must that must want a saving of a whole of the whole lot, if you know what I mean. A different kind of file. So we go close that. We'll end the video. But the video was actually about the driver. Import. ProScan. Radio reference. I'm not with radio reference. Let's just click that. Database must be open. Click OK. Yeah, I think you've got to log into radio reference for that part. Scanner type, we've already done that where we chose this one we, and we chose the scanner port as well there, look. Close. I think that is the same board rate, isn't it? Uh, view, tools. I, I like this modern, You can, I, I think you can change the, the view to um, an orange, but I like that. It looks cool as it is. Manual. So I think we'll end the video there. Delete all rows. It's what it is. What it's actually showing on here. It's actually showing if if there was loads of frequencies programmed into this unit. It's actually showing, you know, a log here, a live log. So thanks for that. The main thing about this video is thanks loads to 
John Stevens for helping me to get this driver. 7-3, all the best.